Hello all. Welcome to Tungol Online Classes. Now in this session we will discuss power factor, wattless current and LC oscillations. Let us see what is mean by power factor. Later we will go wattless current and LC oscillations in detail. See here. The power factor concept it is concerned to power dissipated in AC circuits. We know that when AC applied to register, AC applied to inductor, AC applied to capacitor, we obtain so many types of equations. I mean, how voltage and currents can be leads. That we will see. See here, how to take? Separately, I will take. When AC applied to register, AC applied to inductor and AC applied to capacitor. Separately, we will see. We know that this is the register. This is the register. To this register, shall I apply AC source. A plus this is nothing but AC source. This is this much resistance and we know that voltage. Applied voltage, this we are calling instantaneous voltage. When AC applied to voltage, what is current here? Current is equal to what value? Current is equal to I is equal to I naught sin omega into T. Right. When AC applied to register, voltage and currents are in phase. I mean both are in same direction. How the phase diagram looks like? When AC applied to register, if the voltage is like this, what about current? Current also in same direction. I mean here there is no angle difference between voltage and current. They are said to be in phase. Here what is phi? Phi must be equal to how much? It is equal to zero. Right. Similarly, when AC is applied to inductor, when AC applied to inductor, what happens? Always voltage lets the current by 90 degree. Voltage lets the current by 90 degree. How it is? If I take this is the power inductor, this is power inductor and this we are calling AC source. This inductor has inductance L value. How much voltage applied? V is equal to V naught sin omega into T applied. But when AC source is applied to inductor, always voltage leads the current by 90 degree. How the current looks like here? Current is equal to how much? I is equal to I naught sin, sin omega T minus phi by 2. I mean current lacks the voltage by 90 degree or voltage leads the current by 90 degree. How the phasor diagram looks like? If this is nothing but current, then what about voltage? Voltage how much? That is VL. Are you following me? In between voltage and current, how much angle available? That is 90 degree. Voltage leads the current by 90 degree. Remember this point. Now let us take similarly, we will apply AC source to capacitor. What we obtain? I can call this is a capacitor. Parallel plate capacitor will take this parallel plate capacitor as capacitance C. Again, same AC source I will apply. This is the AC source. Right? Again, voltage. This voltage I can call instantaneous voltage. V is equal to V naught sin omega into T. When AC source is applied to capacitor, always the current leads the voltage by 90 degree. How the current looks like here? I is equal to I is equal to I naught sin omega t plus phi by 2. Here current leads the voltage. Here current lacks the voltage. Here current leads the voltage. How the phase diagram looks like? See here. If this is nothing but current in an capacitor, what about voltage? Voltage must be like this. Voltage must be like this. What angle available in between voltage and current 90 degree available here voltage lacks in case of capacitor in case of inductor voltage leads voltage leads the current by 90 degree in case of inductor in case of capacitor voltage lacks the current by 90 degree. But our point is what is meaning of power factor? Power factor is similar to power dissipated in AC circuits. What it is? power dissipated in AC circuit. How to define power factor? Power factor is defined as the cosine of angle between voltage and current in AC circuits. Voltage and current in AC circuits. How it is? See here, shall I define power factor in what way? Power factor, PF I can define. Power factor is cosine of angle between voltage and current in AC circuits. This quantity I can call power factor. What it is? 
कोसाइन ऑफ एंगल बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करेंट इन केस ऑफ एसी सर्किट दिस कैन कॉल पावर फैक्टर नाउ दिस पावर फैक्टर विल सी इन डिटेल आई मीन पावर डिसिपेटेड इन एसी सर्किट विल सी दैट कॉन्सेप्ट विल सी वेरी सिंपल हियर वी नो दैट कम टू दिस डायग्राम नंबर वन वेन ए सी इज अप्लाई टू रजिस्टर वट इज एंगल बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करेंट एंगल बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करेंट इज इक्वल टू जीरो डिग्री सो वट इज कॉस जीरो कॉस जीरो इज वन कॉस जीरो वन मीन पावर फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू आई देन हाउ मच पावर फैक्टर इज अवेलेबल पावर फैक्टर इन केस ऑफ रजिस्टर इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू आई बिकॉज कॉस जीरो वन कॉस जीरो वन आर दिस पावर फैक्टर कैन डिप्लेस लाइक दिस ऑल्सो पावर फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू मच इट इज आई स्क्वेर इन टू आर ऑल्सो आई स्क्वेर इन टू आर आई मीन वेन ए सी सोर्स इज अप्लाई टू रेजिस्टेंस ड्यू टू हीटिंग ड्यू टू हीटिंग हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ पावर कैन बी क्रिएटेड दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ पावर कैन बी क्रिएटेड दिस इज इन केस ऑफ रजिस्टर बट लुक एट मी इन केस ऑफ इंडक्टर एंड इन केस ऑफ कैपासिटर वॉट वी ऑप्टेन वेन ए सी इज अप्लाई टू इंडक्टर ऑलवेज वोल्टेज लेट्स अ करेंट बाय नाइंटी डिग्री हाउ मच एंगल अवेलेबल नाइंटी डिग्री अवेलेबल सीयर वट इज पावर फैक्टर डेफिनेशन cosine of angle between voltage and current so in case of capacitor in case of inductor what is power factor here power factor is equal to zero because of what cos 90 0 0 into vi 0 power factor is equal to zero what is power factor power factor is equal to zero when ac is applied to inductor i mean no power dissipated when ac is applied to inductor no power can be consumed for one complete cycle for one complete cycle no power can be consumed right then similarly in case of capacitor here also in between voltage and current how much angle available 90 degree cos 90 0 0 into vi 0 what is power factor in this case power factor is equal to 0 i mean when ac apply to inductor and capacitor no power can be consumed but if same ac can apply to resistor power can be consumed how much power can consume this much power can consume on this basis we will define one more term that we are calling wattless current what is meaning of wattless current wattless current is it is the current in the circuit in which power dissipation is zero how to say the current in the circuit in which power dissipation is zero see here in case of resistor power dissipated here we are not calling it is a wattless current in case of resistance we are not calling wattless current but in case of inductor and capacitor in case of inductor and capacitor no power is consumed no power is consumed due to no power consumed this current this current i can call wattless current or current in case of capacitor we are calling wattless current what is wattless current the current in electric circuit or current in ac circuit in which no power dissipation that we are calling wattless current shall i define here wattless current in what way can define wattless current wattless current how to define this see here it is a current in ac circuits it is the current in ac circuits or current in circuits current in circuits in which in which in which there is no power dissipation there is no power dissipation there is no power dissipation such current we are calling wattless current i mean current in inductor and current in capacitor we are calling wattless current see here but come to this power factor in case of inductor in case of resistor in case of resistor how much amount of power can consume either power can consume v is equal to pf is equal to v into i or pf is equal to i square into r this much power can consume i mean wherever circuit is in electric resonance circuit is in electric resonance their power can consume because we know this quantity look at me actually what is power factor definition are written like this cosine of angle between voltage and current right or wrong this then in case of electric resonance more power is consumed i mean we know that electric resonance concept 
when alternating voltage of particular frequency applied current in circuit is maximum wherever current in circuit is maximum their power can consume i mean wherever circuit is in resonance their power can consume how can see how can achieve that see here we know that we know that uh, this formula so phase angle what is phase angle phase angle is equal to xl minus xc divided by what value that is r but at resonance we are calling at resonance xl is equal to xc xl is equal to xc xl is equal to xc mean what is tan phi tan phi is zero if xl is equal to xc then what you are calling z is equal to r then i is equal to what value i is equal to v divided by r i can call right around this at resonance xl is equal to xc xl is equal to xc if xl is equal to xc this value is zero tan phi zero i mean phi is equal to much directly shall i call this directly if xl is equal to xc xl is equal to xc from this formula phi is equal to zero phi is equal to zero cos phi zero then what is power factor power factor is equal to v into i power factor is equal to v into i what you are calling when circuit is in electric resonance power can consume power consume in directly you are taking z is equal to r in case of electric resonance circuit we know that this quantity this quantity z is equal to how much under root of see here z is equal to how much under root of r square r square plus plus xl minus xc whole square xl is equal to xc xl is equal to xc then z is equal to r when z is equal to r when circuit is set of electric resonance maximum current can flow for maximum current impedance is equal to resistance r value this is concerned to power factor and wireless current but later on this we will discuss one more concept that is lc oscillation what is meaning of lc oscillations how lc oscillations are produced in detail we will see see here shall we move this our next concept is lc oscillations look at how to deal let us take to understand the concept of lc oscillations lc oscillations lc oscillations to understand this now we will take a charger capacitor and inductor see here how it is i can take this is a charger capacitor i will take i mean i will take a parallel pad capacitor parallel pad capacitor this parallel pad capacitor is charged say one plate carry positive charges and another plate carry negative charges right along this and it is connected to a inductor it is connected to a inductor right lc oscillations mean see here this capacitor has capacitance c and this inductor has inductance how much inductance is l right around this lc oscillations lc oscillations mean when a charged capacitor is allowed to discharge across inductor when a charged capacitor is allowed to discharge across inductor electric field oscillations are produced those electric field oscillations are said to be lc oscillations i mean inductor capacitor circuit inductor cap in inductor capacitor circuit if a charged capacitor is allowed to discharge across inductor electric field oscillations are produced those oscillations are called as lc oscillations those lc oscillations are oscillate in such a way that they changes with the time regularly i mean we know that in case of capacitor energy stored in case of inductor we know energy stored before that see here what is energy stored in capacitor electric energy stored in capacitor electric energy stored in capacitor is equal to half cv square half cv square or electric field is equal to how much q square divided by 2c this is what electric energy stored between the plates of capacitor in case of inductor what is energy in case of inductor magnetic energy how much 
it is half l square how much it is half l square what i am saying when a charged capacitor is allowed to discharge across inductor electric field oscillations are produced i mean when a charged capacitor allowed to discharge electric energy can be converted into magnetic energy during conversion of electric energy converted into magnetic energy electric field oscillations are produced those we are calling lc oscillations and those oscillations becomes always periodically i mean they obey simple harmonic motion just i will explain how electric energy is converted into magnetic energy during conversion of electric energy into magnetic energy electric field oscillations are produced initially they produce with a constant amplitude later the amplitude will be decreased that i will explain in detail now see here we know that this capacitor this capacitor no fully charged fully charged capacitor is there i mean in between the plates of capacitor electric energy stored is maximum that electric energy stored maximum either you can give by this formula or you can give by this formula right we know that when capacitor discharges when capacitor discharges gradually charges are decrease wherever charges are decrease current can flow current can flow how the current can flow now now current can flow in this direction current can flow in this direction right this much current can flow wherever current can flow current can flow current is increased then what is magnetic energy gradually magnetic energy increase see here how much amount of charges can increase how much amount of charges can decrease more amount of current can flow due to more amount of current electric energy is converted into magnetic energy see here how it is gradually if charges are decrease charges are decrease what about current current will be increase like this current will be increase in this manner wherever current increase what is magnetic field that also increase again more charges are discharged look at me more charges are discharged again more number of charges are discharged like this case see here more number of charges are discharged say now charges are becomes let us take it is nothing but positive say positive this becomes what value negative but again more charges are discharged again magnetic energy increase because wherever current increase what is magnetic energy that also increase how it is look at me simply i will draw like this like this i will draw magnetic energy can increase right but wherever all charges are discharged all charges are discharged there what happen wherever all charges are discharged completely total electric energy is converted into magnetic energy total energy total this electric energy must be converted into magnetic energy how it is when capacitor completely discharges it becomes completely discharged how it is i will draw separate diagram look at me the second day capacitor i mean all charges are discharged see here wherever all charges are discharged i can call this we are calling mag inductor of inductance cell value this is capacitor this is inductor l when all charges are discharged in this inductor more amount of magnetic energy can store look at me here more amount of magnetic energy can store more amount of magnetic energy can store like this way like this way i mean wherever all charges are discharged it has maximum of magnetic energy maximum of magnetic energy during capacitor discharge electric oscillations are produced simply what happens here electric energy is converted into magnetic energy all electric energy is converted into magnetic energy wherever charges are zero what is electric energy zero if electric energy is zero all energy can be converted into magnetic energy so during discharge there what happens electric energy can convert into magnetic energy this is one situation but whenever this inductor has maximum energy magnetic flux linked with the call changes i mean here more magnetic flux it changes wherever more magnetic flux changes what is produced current produced according to lenz law see here whenever this inductor carry maximum energy i mean maximum magnetic energy that is variable energy not constant energy variable energy wherever energy is variable again current can flow in the circuit current now no current how it is direction current in this direction how the current can flow now current can flow in reverse direction reverse mean how it is when inductor allowed to leave the magnetic energy i mean magnetic flux linked with the call changes current flows how the current flows here look at me 
see here again i can take this situation again i will take this is nothing but capacitor right this we are calling inductor you can call this the inductor this is capacitor c this is what value inductor l this cap this inductor maximum energy magnetic energy variable wherever magnetic flux linked with the call changes then how the current can flow how the energy possible now like this energy possible like this energy like this energy possible in case of inductor like this see here wherever gradually magnetic energy decrease magnetic flux linked with the call changes now current can flow now in reverse direction how the current can flow now in this direction current can flow in this direction now now capacitor becomes reverse charge reverse mean so on this positive charges are carried on this one negative charges are carried again when more magnetic flux linked with the call changes gradually magnetic energy decrease wherever magnetic energy decrease more current charges can flow then current also increase like this way like this way again more charges can flow so here like this again wherever complete this magnetic energy changes this inductor becomes like this then this capacitor now fully charged capacitor now fully charged in this case charges discharge magnetic energy increase in this case what happen magnetic energy changes capacitor become charged i mean it carry maximum amount of electric energy simply here things happen whenever charged capacitor allowed to discharge electric energy convert into magnetic energy whenever magnetic energy maximum magnetic flux linked with the call changes so that emf can induce in the coil wherever emf induce in the coil again current can flow and capacitor becomes reverse charged so that during conversion of electric energy to magnetic energy electric field oscillations are produced those electric field oscillations are called as lc oscillations and those oscillations becomes periodically simply here electric energy convert into magnetic energy again magnetic energy can convert into electric energy this process becomes continuously during that electric energy that becomes oscillate that becomes oscillate with periodically on this basis how it goes periodically i mean what is mathematical treatment of lc oscillations very simple here i will come to the point the mathematical treatment of lc oscillation later before that whenever electric energy convert into magnetic energy during some amount of heat is produced during amount of heat amplitude of the current gradually decrease gradually decrease how it is actually initially how the current can flow current can flow with a constant amplitude with a constant amplitude due to some resistance of inductor and due to heating gradually this current will decrease how the current is decrease this now constant amplitude now how the current can gradually decrease now current becomes like this like this current becomes like due to what reason due to some resistance large amount of heat can produce due to large amount of heat gradually amplitude of this current decrease and current becomes static even though even though if resistance zero i mean if resistance of inductor is zero then there is no change in amplitude even there is no change in amplitude again energy can losses due to heating due to heating during conversion of electric energy to magnetic energy so sum of electric energy and magnetic energy that is converted into electromagnetic wave actually how many types of energy can exist here two types of energy one we are calling electric energy second one we are calling magnetic energy what is total energy total energy we are taking what is total energy total energy is equal to electric energy plus magnetic energy this electric energy and magnetic energy it may be leak in the form of electromagnetic waves so that during lc oscillations energy can losses either in the form of heat or either in the form of electromagnetic waves this much amount of energy can losses during a capacitor allowed to discharge across a inductor now this lc oscillations always becomes periodically they always becomes periodically let us see what is mathematical treatment of lc oscillation that we'll see very simple now let us go mathematical treatment of lc oscillations see here in detail we'll see mathematical treatment of lc oscillations 
see here next concept is mathematical treatment mathematical treatment mathematical treatment of lc oscillations mathematical treatment of lc oscillations how lc oscillation changes periodically that we'll see i mean if lc oscillations are produced they must obey simple harmonic motion that we'll see see here now i can take a charger capacitor initially i will take a parallel bed capacitor this is a parallel bed capacitor this parallel bed capacitor is connected to a power inductor look at me right the inductor has inductance l value this is nothing but fully charged capacitor of capacitance c one plate carry positive charge positive charge second plate carry negative charge right all of this right we know that when fully charged capacitor how much it has energy now electric energy is e how much we are giving that is q square divided by 2c q square divided by 2c is nothing but electric energy wherever capacitor allowed to discharge capacitor allowed to discharge current can flow how much current can flow in this circuit this much current can flow this much current can flow see here how to define current then current can define as rate of flow of charges current can define a rate of flow of charges but i will put negative sign what is meaning of negative sign here if charges are decrease current is increase what is meaning of negative sign here if charges are decrease gradually current is increase wherever current increase magnetic energy of the inductor increase because we know magnetic energy what is magnetic energy stored in inductor that is nothing but half l i square right wherever current increase what is magnetic energy magnetic energy also increase how to show magnetic energy increase gradually magnetic energy can show like this this is increase in magnetic energy right but wherever magnetic flux linked with the call changes and emf induced magnetic flux linked this current is continuously changing so that magnetic flux linked with the call changes wherever magnetic flux linked with the call changes emf induced in the coil according to self inductance see here wherever magnetic flux linked with the call changes what is emf induced emf induced is equal to minus l di divided by dt this is concept of self inductance right or on this because here current is variable always due to variable magnetic field produce the produced variable magnetic field, it also induces own emf this emf opposes change in current how this emf can produce emf can produce like this the produced emf opposes the change in current according to self inductance concept now but we know that i is equal to minus dq by dt how to put this value e is equal to minus l keep it up same d by dt also keep it up same what is i minus dq by dt how much it is minus dq divided by dt right minus into minus that becomes plus then what is e e is equal to how much e is equal to d square q whole divided by dt square how much emf induce due to changing in current due to changing in current this much emf can induce let us call this with equation number 1 right now now we'll take across this capacitor we know capacitance capacitance is equal to what value q divided by v capacitance is equal to q by v what is v in between the plates of capacitor how much voltage is there in between the plates of capacitor this much voltage can exist this much voltage can exist i can call now this is nothing but equation number 2 but look at me this capacitor and inductor it is looks like a closed circuit looks like a closed circuit in closed circuit according to 
according to kirchhoff second law the sum of emf and terminal potential difference in a closed electrical circuit is zero here how much amount of voltage is there in between the plates of capacitor v voltage is there due to changing in current how much emf induced this much emf induced what kirchhoff second law the sum of emf and terminal potential difference in a closed electrical circuit is zero right around this kirchhoff second law just i want to apply kirchhoff second law because it is a closed circuit see here apply kirchhoff second law kcl according to kcl kvl not kcl kvl kirchhoff's voltage law what it is the sum of emf and terminal potential difference in a closed electric circuit is zero how it is that is e plus v must be equal to zero sum of emf and terminal potential difference in a closed electrical circuit is zero what is emf this much emf is available how it is l into how much l into d square q divided by dt square plus what is v v is equal to q divided by c equal to zero r how to write d square q divided by dt square plus q divided by lc is equal to zero right around this but we know this quantity what about this quantity omega is equal to under root of lc what is omega square omega square is equal to what value 1 divided by lc 1 divided by lc is equal to omega square very simple here look at me what about this equation then see here this equation i will take d square q d square q divided by dt square plus plus q 1 by lc is equal to omega square omega square into q is equal to zero so this equation looks like a simple harmonic motion whatever electric oscillations are produced those electric oscillations are vibrate periodically periodically mean changes with the time how they can changes electric energy can convert into magnetic energy again magnetic energy can convert into electric energy during that it changes periodically with the time t it changes continuously see here this obey simple harmonic motion what it is d square q divided by dt square plus omega square into q is equal to zero right thing then again from this this q value due to changing in charges wherever charges are discharged current can flow definitely current also periodic how to say q is equal to what value q not cos omega into t see here but we know current current is equal to rate of flow of charges what it is minus dq divided by dt what is minus indicates as charges decrease current increase right put this key value here current i is equal to minus d by dt keep it up same q q is equal to how much q not cos omega into t right i is equal to minus keep it up same q not is constant bring it outside d by dt of cos omega into t right i is equal to q not minus q not d by dt of cos omega t how much minus sin omega t into omega d by dx of cos x for see here minus into minus plus what is remaining then i is equal to q not into omega sin omega into t q not into omega is equal to i not then what is current here current i is equal to i not of sin omega into t this current also periodic this current we are calling alternating current how it is whatever charges produce those produce charges are oscillate with the time period t then current also changes omega t is equal to theta wherever theta changes from 0 to 360 degree the current can changes from 0 to maximum maximum to 0 in one direction again 0 to maximum in reverse direction and become zero this we are calling alternative current i mean wherever a capacitor allowed to discharge charges always decrease current increase due to increase in current electric field oscillations are produced due to conversion of electric energy into magnetic energy this we are calling lc oscillations right
ఫర్దర్ కాన్సెప్ట్ విల్ సీ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ సెషన్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వైస్